Two Minute Tutor here. Today we're looking at high limits. What is a high limit control? What's its purpose? High limit controls are generally found on forced air furnaces. 70%, 80%, 90%, all of them have to have a safety in case the furnace should ever begin to overheat. Something needs to shut the gas off. Something needs to sense that it's actually overheating. And that's the job of the high limit, is to sense the airflow that's going through the furnace or the lack of airflow that's going through a furnace and ensure that the burner does not overheat the heat exchanger, which would eventually lead to the demise of the heat exchanger if not a fire inside of the, heat, uh, the furnace itself. Now what is the job of the high limit? Well number one is it's supposed to shut off the burner if the heat exchanger begins to overheat. Now it can do it one of two ways. It can do it either directly or it can do it indirectly. Directly meaning that the high limit is right in series electrically with the gas valve and will shut the gas valve off. Or it could be indirectly. If it's done indirectly, then it's probably the high limit is part of a PC board or an ignition module, which from there will shut off the gas valve. Now, that's it, that high limit control is a safety. It's considered a safety. It's a safety cycle switch. It operates usually on 24 volts and its switching configuration is usually single pole, single throw, normally closed. Normally closed because we want it to open on a temperature rise. In other words, stop the electricity to the ignition module or the gas valve if the furnace begins to overheat. Now there's different configurations for a high limit. Here we find in a, what's called a combination fan limit control that it is incorporated into a control that can do a couple of different uh, particular items. Uh, fan limit control or fa combination fan limit control, the high limit is found on the, one of the dials here. We also have the single pole, single throw, thermal disk style, which can be found on many 80 and 90 percent efficient furnaces. And this particular uh, single pole, single throw switch can be used effectively to shut off a burner, uh, whether it be through the ignition module, whether it be through the gas valve. We also have this style, which are uh, thermal electric, or I should say thermal disk style also, uh, using a 24 volt single pole switch that opens on a temperature rise. And these are usually used in conjunction with a PC board. Now, the job is not only to shut off the burner, but it's also there to ensure that the fan continues to run, to send a signal to the PC board to say, hey, keep the fan running, let's get the heat out of the furnace. Hope this helps you. That's what a high limit is for, to shut off the burner in case there's an overheating situation. Two Minute Tutor, out.